The final topic of this section of Developer 2 is Process Call. A process call shape executes another process known as a child from within a parent process. It triggers a child start shape to run and optionally pass documents into the child workflow. You can organize complex architecture to coordinate sequential execution. Meaning if you use a branch shape to determine that subprocess 1 will execute before subprocess 2 and subprocess 2 will execute before subprocess 3. In conjunction with the process call shape, there is a return documents shape which returns documents in a child process back to the parent process call shape. This will wait for and return the documents as a group to the parent process call shape. There is a label definition which creates a new path extending from the parent process call for each label added. Here is a sample parent and child process. What makes the process call and return document shapes so advantageous is that they shorten the process footprint within the process canvas and also allow for reusable plug-and-play architecture using an object-oriented approach to design. In this example, a process stores data in a local disk location. It includes common routing logic to identify documents as good or bad. Instead of recreating this logic again and again, it can be saved in a component as a separate component on the component explorer as a child process and then called from a parent via the process call shape. <laughs> 